how does it work? I have absolutely no idea. But I think I can make it even better. I really don't get paid enough for this. I bet I can make it underwater all the way to the end. This is not a happy day. We are in Dragonfly Nature's Village in Pattaya, one of the newest resorts here in Thailand and also the biggest one, maybe even the biggest one in the whole continent of Asia. Previous visitors have told us that this resort has the potential to lift naturism in Thailand to a whole other level. But we don't believe everything we hear. So in this week's video, we're going to figure out that if this resort is worth spending $100 a night. We are Nick and Lens. For the last five years, we have been traveling to some of the most amazing nature's places on the planet. And now we embarked on an epic journey to experience naturism in every continent of the world. Subscribe and travel along with us. Right now, we are in Asia. Let's start at the beginning. There is a pickup service which is free within Pattaya if you stay at least two nights. And that is just so convenient. We stayed in Pattaya before and the van just picked us up there. There was no hassling with taxis, no waiting for a grab. Just a little side note, Grab is like the Uber in Asia. Uber doesn't really exist here, but they have other apps like Grab. But depending on the time of the day, it can be really, really hard to find the driver. So yes, this is definitely a bonus point. Not just because it saves us money, but just because it's so easy. Here is where you enter the resort. To my left is the reception. I don't really think that we need to look inside because what a reception looks like does not really influence how I like a resort. But maybe it does to you, so let's have a look inside anyway. Yeah, as I expected, it's a reception desk, but I do like the style here. It's, it looks very modern. Let's go have a look at our room because eventually that is what we're paying for. Welcome to our $100 room. Actually, it was not $100. I think it was around 90, but $100 just sounded better for the title of this video. Okay, this room is very spacious. Nick is in the corner of the room and I have to yell at him so you can hear me. That is how big this room is. And not only the room is big, the bed is absolutely big. I think it's like a double master king size bed and it is super comfortable. What is also big in this room is the television, which is also comfortable because yeah, I mean, the distance, it's quite far, so you need a big TV. And we get complimentary flip-flops. But the thing is, every room gets the same yellow flip-flops. So I don't really know when people in the common areas, when people take off their shoes, how everybody remembers which ones are theirs. I have no idea how, so I just keep using my own. We also have a big fridge and an ensuite bathroom. And you know what is really funny about this bathroom? It's this sink. I don't know what gotten into them while they were designing this, but this is so low. Like we have to brush our teeth like this. No, I'm just joking. But it is really funny. Oh yeah, right, another thing. These windows have mosquito nets, which we really like and appreciate. And oh, another thing that we like, which is really cool, these windows, you can see through them from the inside to the outside, but not the other way around. So they give a lot of privacy. Wave to the outside. Hello, outside! Well, maybe it's not 100% not see-through proof, but it definitely does something. Now the question is, is this room worth $100? I think in Pattaya you can find other rooms that are also $100 and are similar to this or maybe even better. But what's important is all the other stuff that you get for your money. Just across of where we are staying is the swimming pool, but that is really one of the best things of the resort. So we will keep that for a little bit later in the video and we'll go the other way. Here is a, a sitting area. There are a couple of these in the resort and I personally like that a lot because you don't always feel like socializing and in, in most resorts if you don't want to be social you're just kind of stuck to your room. But here you have all these different corners with tables where you can just chill. And then there is the lake. 
I think that this must be the only nature resort in Asia that has an actual lake on its property. And it's a little bit empty right now because it's dry season in Thailand. But it does add a lot to the natural aspect of this resort. And you can even you can even walk around it. Do you want to have a walk around it? Yeah, maybe later. But look at this. They have an outdoor cinema right at the lake. How cool is that? And something else is really cool. Come. It is a bathtub. Ta-da! An outdoor bathtub. Normally, I don't get that excited about bathtubs, but I mean, it's outdoor and it has lake view. This is probably the first time I ever see this. It's actually the second time. We once stayed in a glamping tent in France that also had a bathtub with lake view, but it's definitely something unique. And I think if all goes well, the sunset will be right over the lake. So this is definitely something we have to check out tonight. Do you think that we can swim in the lake? Probably not. I dare you. No way. Okay, then we continue our, our walk. And here we get to the fitness area. This must be the only place in the world where a fitness area doesn't stink like sweat. It's, I think it's all very, very new here. There is a very new fitness machine smell hanging here. And look at all these machines. It is just so packed. There is something for every muscle. And if it wasn't for the heat, I would be probably fitnessing the whole day here. But what can I do? It's just too hot. Okay, let's blame the weather. Right next door is the pool area. Not the swimming kind, but the kind with balls and cues and stuff. Everything looks so brand new in here and, and I think I have an echo. But it's, it looks so new, the pool table, the snooker table, they look as if they've been delivered yesterday. And this is so refreshing because there are a lot of nature's places that have been existing forever and they haven't always been maintained very well. So it's very refreshing to be in a new nature's resort. Maybe we should go more often to new nature's resorts. And it's the same design as the reception and the restaurant. It's very sober, but it looks very modern. I, I, I like the style. You see, that's all part of the room price. So you're not really paying $100 a night for just the room, but also for all the other facilities. And it doesn't even have to be $100 a night because here are the other rooms and these are quite cheaper. I think on the top level you're paying about $60 a night and the ones at the bottom level will be around $70, $75. Let's see if we can have a look. There are no windows on this side of the pot so you can't really look in and probably the windows would be no look through anyway. But I think the big difference is that the top rooms only have this small table and chairs Whereas the bottom rooms also have a bit like, like an accommodation. They also have some kind of a little patio at the back. And this brings us back to where the swimming pool is. Is it safe to film? Definitely not. This place is packed. <laughs> okay, we'll keep that for another time. How about an early dinner and then sunset at the lake? Obviously not everything is for free, this is not an all-inclusive resort, but our breakfast was included with our room. But here is what makes Thailand interesting. Even if you do have to pay for your things, it is still not expensive, like my massage for example. Mm, my massage was great. I had a one hour massage for 500 baht. I think that is around $15, not even. But anyway, where was I? Ah, yeah, 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 the food. Just look at the food. Look at these prices. Pretty much every dish is under 200 baht. That is around or less than $8. What are we having? Yeah, in Thai it's called a lot. No, I'm joking, it's just Thai barbecue. And how does it work? 
I have absolutely no idea. Also, they just keep bringing things and I don't know if this is it or do we have to wait or... Yeah, don't know. I think we may have to ask for some help. This is one of the strangest barbecues we've ever had, I think. There's, it's like a mix of soup or fondue with barbecue. You put the soup and the vegetables on, on the, around the, the pot and then the meat on top so it can grill. We made a minor miscalculation and we had to choose between either a half bed with a sunset or a full bed and no sunset. This is not bad. No. But I think I can make it even better. That's very elegant. This is how we roll. We are in a fancy resort, sitting in a hot tub, watching the sunset and drinking half a liter of Chang beer. How is the pool? It is ready to receive us. <laughs> I am starting to get a love-hate relationship with pools at Natures Resorts. I love the fact that I don't need to wear a bathing suit, but we always have to wake up so early because it's full of people all the time. I don't think that I have to say much about this rain pool. The images probably speak for themselves. How about some images of me swimming? <laughs> no, we, we have to hurry up because people will start coming soon. There is also a sauna and a steam room here. I have some difficulties understanding why people would want to have a sauna in Thailand. I can understand maybe early in the morning I would go in the sauna, but like within an hour or so, Thailand becomes a sauna. And right next to the pool, they are the onsen. That's right, they have onsens here. This is by far my most favorite place in the whole resort. Are you ready to be blown away? Close your eyes. Step forward, step forward, step forward, step forward, open your eyes. How cool is this place? It's not a real onsen because we are obviously not in Japan and I doubt that there's a hot spring beneath this resort. And also this place is gender mixed, which is most of the time not the case in Japan. It is so stylish and modern. It reminds me a lot of the spas and the wellness centers in Europe. And they have these different baths, which all have a different temperature. Yeah, it seems like they have a his bath and her bath. I dare you to go into the cold bath. Yeah, it's warm in Thailand, but not that warm. There's still no people in the pool, so now I'm definitely going for a swim. You almost made it halfway. I bet I can make it underwater all the way to the end. <laughs> this is a really large pool. You know what? If I can make it, you go into the cold onsen. It's a bet. Give it a try. <sighs> okay, let's do this. This is not a happy day. Ah. 
I really don't get paid enough for this. It's true that this is a great way to wake up, but definitely not my preferred one. I think it's time to answer the question whether this resort is worth $100 a night. Absolutely yes, <laughs> if you ask us. <laughs> I would pay even more if there wasn't a cold bath. <laughs> Double. <laughs> but the thing is, you don't pay $100 for a room, mm. you pay $100 for everything, for, the, for all the facilities, yeah. for the whole experience. And that definitely makes it worth it. As always, we are going to put links to this resort in the description mm. of this website, of this video. And we also write reviews on our website. Maybe you don't know this, but we can't put a link there because YouTube doesn't like to link to nature's websites. If only there was a way that we could sneak it in to this video. And with this, we're going to leave you. There are more nature's places in Thailand, but our visa is running out. So we will have to come back in a couple of months. But first, we're going to another destination. And if you want to know where that is, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video, please give us a big fat thumbs up. And you just stole my line, but that is fine. <laughs> <laughs> and we just see you in our next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So yes, that's already a bonus. Boynus point. Boynus point. So yes, that's already a bonus bonus point. <laughs> a bonus. A bonus. A bonus point. Welcome to our one hundred dollar room. Actually, it was not a hundred dollars. I think it was around ninety dollars. But the hundred just sounded better for for that. But here is why Thailand is still. But here is what Thailand makes very. But here is what Thailand's bad. But here is why Thailand is still. But here is what Thailand makes very. But here is what Thailand's. And how does that work? I have absolutely no idea. There's and also, I don't know. Do we still? Uh, man.